Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 1865. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 1865, a bill to designate the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 35 Park Street in Danville, Vermont, as the Thaddeus Stevens Post Office. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Meadows, and the gentleman from Vermont, Mr. Welch, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from North Carolina. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days within which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on the bill under consideration. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to urge support of H.R. 1865, introduced by Representative Welch, my good friend from Vermont, which would designate the postal facility located at 35 Park Street in Danville, Vermont, as the Thaddeus Stevens Post Office. Thaddeus Stevens was born in Danville, Vermont, on April 4th of 1792. He attended a nearby Peckham Academy and went on to study at the University of uh, Vermont and, and Dartmouth. After graduating from Dartmouth, Stevens moved to Pennsylvania to study law. He practiced law in Gettysburg and, and spent four years as a member of the Pennsylvania State Legislature. Thaddeus Stevens served in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1849 to 1853 and from 1859 until his death in 1868. He is best remembered for being a, for, a fierce opponent of slavery and discrimination against African Americans. He was instrumental in the passage of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution and fought for African-American rights during Reconstruction. I ask my colleagues to honor the courageous actions and momentous con uh, contributions of this great American by voting in favor of H.R. 1865, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Vermont is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my, my colleague, uh, Mr. Meadows. Uh, you spoke very well and eloquently about the uh, Vermonter that we're very proud of, Thaddeus Stevens. And you gave so much of his biography, I'm going to uh, uh, just uh, embrace what you said, but I'm going to give you one pronunciation uh, hint. It's Peacham, Vermont. <laughs> and we're going to bring you up there and show you where Thaddeus Stevens was born. But thank you so much uh, for your uh, very gracious remarks about Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, we in Vermont are very proud of Thaddeus Stevens, as I think Americans are, but in Vermont uh, for many reasons. Vermont was the first state in its constitution that banned slavery. We were the 14th state. We were an independent republic. The first independent republic had become part of the union. And in our constitution, we banned slavery. Uh, and Thaddeus Stevens, uh, we'd like to think, carried on what was a Vermont uh, conviction about the freedom of men and women, regardless of race. And that was to fight against slavery throughout the most tumultuous times of our republic. The years going up to the Civil War, the years during the Civil War, and then the post-Civil War Reconstruction period. And some of the most important contributions of the United States Congress occurred after the Civil War with the passage, among other things, of the 14th Amendment. And Thaddeus Stevens was a leading proponent of the 14th Amendment that guaranteed due process of law to all of our citizens, regardless of race. Uh, this has been extremely uh, important in our Constitution. Uh, he was a self-made person, goes to a local school, goes to Dartmouth, uh, goes to Pennsylvania uh, to make his mark, becomes a state legislator, becomes elected to Congress uh, in, the, in one party. He changed parties. He was in, uh, uh, he, he was in the anti-Mason party and then later uh, the Whig party uh, and then eventually uh, the Republican party. But all the while he was guided by a conviction that all men and women are created equal. That is the test that each of us faces, is how can we bring to life that constitutional commitment uh, that all of us have embraced. I'd like to thank Senator Sanders uh, for 
his leadership in working with the Danville community to draft this bill. Uh, Senator Sanders, when he first moved to Vermont, uh, he also was a transplant uh, from Brooklyn, uh, New York, uh, lived up in the Danville area. Uh, and he has been a lifelong admirer of, uh, of Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, Senator Leahy also, of course, was a steadfast supporter in the Senate. Mr. Speaker, I urge the passage of this bill to acknowledge Thaddeus Stevens's public service and the steadfast dedication that his life represents to the equality of all our citizens, regardless of race. And I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and my apologies to the residents of Peacham, Vermont. And I thank <laughs> my good friend from Vermont. I have no other speakers at this moment, and I continue to reserve the balance. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Vermont is recognized. And I yield back. The gentleman yields.